Good morning, students. Welcome to your English class. My name is Carlos Silva, and I'm your English teacher. This is day number two of unit seven. Are you ready to learn English? Let's begin. Day number two, Mac the cow. El día de hoy vamos a seguir trabajando con las palabras que utilizamos para formular preguntas. Vamos a utilizar una pequeña historia que se llama Mac the cow para poder trabajar con estas palabras. Para esta clase necesitamos la actividad 3 de nuestras copias, de nuestras actividades. Mac the cow. Es importante que la tengas para poder realizar la actividad juntos. Before we begin, let's explore some vocabulary words. Antes de comenzar con la actividad, vamos a explorar algunas palabras del vocabulario. Quiero que por favor escuches, observes la imagen y repitas después de mí. Listen, look at the picture and repeat. Cow. 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 Moo. 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 This is the sound that the cows make. Este es el sonido que hacen las vacas. Moo. Moo. Please repeat. Moo. Milk. Milk. Sick. Sick. Barn. Barn. Litter. Litter. But, but, vet, vet. Excellent job. Now let's practice. Read the story of Mac the cow and answer the questions at the end. Vamos a leer juntos esta historia. Te recuerdo, es importante que tengas tu hoja de la actividad contigo para poder leer la historia al mismo tiempo. ¿Estás listo? Vamos a comenzar. Mac the cow. This is the story of Mac the cow. Mac the cow is sick. She does not move. Look at the picture. She is sick. The cow is sick. She does not move. She doesn't move because she's sick. She does not give milk. Mark the cow can't give milk because she's sick. She does not give milk. Not today, says Mark the cow. But we'll have to get the bed. She is in the barn waiting. So, but We'll have to get the bed. And Mac the cow is in the barn waiting for the bed to arrive. The vet will make Mac the cow better. Then we will get milk again. The bed will make Mac the cow feel better. And Mac the cow 
will give milk again. Now she feels better, but has one little of milk. Look at the picture. Mac the cow feels better now, and but has one liter of milk. Very well. I hope you enjoyed this story. Now let's practice. Answer the questions about the short story. Espero hayas disfrutado de esta historia. Ahora vamos a contestar unas preguntas acerca de esta historia corta. ¿Estás listo? Questions. Question number one. Who is sick? Remember the word sick. Who is sick? Mac the cow, but the vet. Who is sick? Ahora, observa en tu hoja la pregunta número uno es esta. Who is sick? Tienes tres opciones. Vas a contestar con la opción correcta. Who is sick? Can you tell me? Puedes decirme who is sick? Mac the cow, bot or the bed. Escribe la respuesta en tu hoja. Cuando estés listo, prepárate porque te voy a revelar la respuesta correcta. Ready? Mac the cow is sick. Mac the cow is sick. Very well. Question number two. What doesn't she give? ¿Qué es lo que no da? What doesn't she give? Barns. Candy. Milk. Ahora, recuerda que en la historia, Mac the cow no podía dar algo porque estaba enferma. ¿Qué era eso? Barns, candy, or milk. En tu actividad tienes la misma pregunta en la número dos. What doesn't she give? Escribe la respuesta correcta. Barns, candy, milk. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? Ready? Very well, milk. Milk is what Mac the cow can't give because she's sick. Very well, the next question. Question number three, where is Mac the cow? Where is Mac the cow? Recuerda que la palabra where significa donde. Hacemos una pregunta acerca de un lugar. Where is Mac the cow? In a castle? In a barn? In the forest? En tu actividad tienes esta pregunta en la número 3. Escribe la respuesta correcta. Recuerda, solo puede ser una. Castle? Barn? Forest? ¿Estás listo? ¿Estás lista? Good job. Mac the cow is in the barn. Great job. Question number four. Who will, Mac, who will make Mac the cow better? Who will make Mac the cow better? Recuerda que con la pregunta who... Queremos información acerca de una persona. ¿Quién? Who will make Mac the cow better? The vet? Bot? Or Little Red Riding Hood? Who will make Mac the cow better? 
en tu actividad tienes esta pregunta en la número 4. Escribe la respuesta correcta. Recuerda, solo puede ser una. Una de las tres opciones. Are you ready? I'm about to reveal the correct answer. And the correct answer is the bed. The bed will make Mac the cow better. Excellent job. Number five. How many liters of milk does Bot have? How many liters of milk does Bot have? 10 liters. One liter. Five liters. How many es una pregunta que significa cuántos. How many liters of milk does Bot have? En tu actividad tienes esta pregunta. Escribe la respuesta correcta. Are you ready? I'm about to reveal the correct answer. One liter. Mac the cow gave Bot one liter, liter of milk. Very well. I hope you enjoyed today's class. And I'll see you next time with a new video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.